This year it seems like almost every summer blockbuster is dying a miserable death. Apart from a few exceptions, it seems like every other blockbuster is released dead on arrival. After disregarding the obvious reasons of streaming killing cinema, it may just be that audiences are resisting against paying to see terrible filmmaking. You could say that film reviews can kill the movie early on, but it's for sure a good way to stop utter trash from wasting people's hard earned money. On the subject of animated films, are people either going to watch Across the Spider-Verse, a movie that somehow feels original, even when it's part of an extremely tired film genre, or are they going to watch Elemental, on which its film premise is as cookie cutter as it gets? Spider-Verse is one of the few summer blockbusters that has came out clean on the other side, yet Elemental will lose a lot of money for Pixar due to marketing costs. But I digress. It's not like no one went to Elemental, and it could have done good at the box office, if the budget wasn't so high. It seems like DreamWorks has finally surpassed Pixar in its current state, with the bad guys in Puss in Boots The Last Wish. I wonder what the next film is? Wait, they released a film in June? Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken? Since when? And it only made that much money? Oh, and the film has extremely mixed reviews to say the least. Does this film deserve the hate? Is it really first class junk? Well, it was better than The Flash, but that's not really an achievement. Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken's first major issue is the name itself. It's such a mouthful, and it feels like two movie titles in one. The original name for this film was going to be Meet the Gilmans, which isn't good, but much better than the one they chose. The plot centres around Ruby Gilman, a teenage girl who is a Kraken in disguise. Krakens have always been hated by the town she lives in, but mermaids are loved. Ruby is quite shy, particularly due to her overprotective mother, who has a strict rule of to not go into the sea. Ruby is an outcast in school, and has a crush on one of the more popular kids in school named Connor. You can tell he's popular because he's a skater boy. Little Mr. Skater Boy here! And he uses his skateboard in school. A mermaid named Chelsea is the new girl in town, and she helps Ruby come out of her shell. If you think that's the most cookie cutter storyline for an animated film like this, then you would be correct. This movie tries absolutely nothing new. You have seen all of this a million times. It's just a played out hero's journey adventure, with all the rest of the story beats you would see in a film like this. It has the stupid liar reveal subplot that is normally in the second act, but in this is just 25 minutes into the film, and none of it feels genuine, because it feels like they're doing it just for the sake of ticking a box. You can guess the overprotective mother subplot, and the twist with the mermaid is so incredibly predictable that you can tell exactly what's going to happen at the start of the movie. While none of the characters are offensively bad, none of them are really interesting, and that makes the whole experience quite dull. The only thing that is offensively bad is some of the character designs on the humans. Some are seriously illumination level bad. The film also doesn't look that good. The animation is fine, but the colours just seem so dull and lifeless for the most part. The film is not funny in the slightest, but I was never rolling my eyes at the jokes. Will Fort's character is just slightly annoying, and one of Ruby's friends is just a weird Wednesday ripoff. DreamWorks themselves resorted into stealing their own jokes in this movie, which is incredibly baffling. They stole jokes from their much better films, such as Shrek and Megamind, but the execution of the jokes are much more bland here. Oh. Oh girl. She's going to say something! I love you, Metro Man! And I love you, random citizen! I love you so much! Love you too, rando! While this isn't quite first class junk, Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken is an inoffensive animated film that is extremely cookie cutter and adds absolutely nothing new. I'm rating this a 4 out of 10. It's junk. <laughs>